$1.1 billion is the new price tag for Brisbane's Metro Transport project. The revisal down comes despite the addition of a second track, but those opposing the bus system still aren't convinced it will be money well spent. Is it a bus? Is it a train? Well, it's a little unclear. They are a vehicle which are wheel-based, but not track-based. But the plan for a hybrid metro for the city is back. It's about making sure that we create a world-class facility, but we upgrade what we have. Council boasts that by keeping it off tracks and using already existing busways, this plan slashes the price by $500 million. It looks quite fast and uh, interesting. Funcier the better. <laughs> It kind of looks like um, she'd be from, like, Star Wars. The catch, it could cost just shy of $1 billion. And with Council's business case unavailable until May, for now, it's just a pretty picture. What the plan does show is two lines instead of one, from the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital through to the University of Queensland, along the government's northern and eastern busways, and from Roma Street Transit Centre along the southeast busway to Eight Mile Plains. The area around Woolloongabba to Roma Street will see a 30% improvement in travel time in the morning peak and 50% improvement in travel time in the afternoon peak. Across the 21 kilometre route, 18 existing bus stations will be reinvigorated as stops, 11 interchanges, two of which could eventually link up with the Cross River Rail. The Cultural Centre metro station at South Bank would be underground. The Victoria Bridge closed off to cars. RACQ will be working closely with council to make sure that motorists aren't penalised by being forced over the toll bridge, for example, at go between bridge. Council opposition say the plans are far from new. The bi-articulated buses of which they're proposing were proposed some 10 years ago. Zara, have we heard from the state government on the new proposal? Well, we have, Alison, and ultimately they'll be the ones who need to give this plan the green light to ever go ahead. Right now they have only just been briefed, but the Deputy Premier has already told us that she welcomes this plan. It's welcomed very much by her and she is yet to read any of the finer details because they won't be available until May. All right, we'll wait and watch. Thanks, Sarah.